you told me about the uh, the Y Combinator days. Was there anything that, that you remember Paul Graham or another one of the partners, um, any feedback they gave you or any guidance that really helped you know, guide the company and set it on the path that it is today? Mm. I mean, it's always all easy to look back, right? But yeah. were there any sort of crucial points where you, know, you had to make a decision to go one way or another, maybe go enterprise versus consumer mm -hmm. or? You know, I think one thing that Paul is really great at is expressing complex idea, like distilling complex ideas down to their essence and communicating you know, like concisely and cogently. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things we really struggled with early on is here's something like Dropbox, right? It's useful for dozens of different things. You know, it slices, it dices, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's just that we made a list of dozens of things it was good for. Right. And, you know, our first sort of marketing attempt was like throwing spaghetti at a wall. It's like, okay, here, welcome to Dropbox and our sort of beta sign up. Here's half a dozen things that it can do between syncing and backup and sharing, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and, you know, the average person who sort of shows up at the home page is like, oh my God, like, I'm, it's, just, it's just too much. Right. Um, and we really struggled in terms of how to articulate this with investors because we you know, never really done that before. And, and Paul was really helpful uh, to us in terms of you know, distilling down the idea into a much shorter and sort of more compact presentation. Uh, and then, uh, then having demo day, which is sort of the culminating event where, mm -hmm. you know, there's you're put in a room and waved like a piece of steak in front of a bunch of investors. Right. Uh, that that was a you know an amazing kind of kickoff for us. And what was so what was the mes messaging that that you went with the, as a result of that? Well, I think you know we just had a pretty so so to focus on sort of demonstrating the product and not you know we could have talked for a long time about the market or you know sort of more abstract things, but just showing people like. We, we did a couple of sort of uh, a couple of things in, in our demo day presentation. One was, so first of all, our, we saved our presentation in Dropbox, mm -hmm. and then we closed PowerPoint, deleted the file, and, and, and like you know, made sure it was gone. And we're like, this is pretty high stakes because we're up in front of an audience, uh, a live audience. And then we, in real time, went back to the website and restored it, and uh, brought the presentation back. And then it's like, if it. it, it caused a switch to flip in, in everybody's head. It's like, OK, wow, like, and this is sort of like undo for everything. You know? And just sort of uh, help, like showing and not telling that concept. And you know, same thing, we pulled out an iPhone and took a picture of the audience. And then immediately it was saved in our Dropbox. Um, it's sort of, we have to do a lot of these things with the, right. you, know, you know, it's not just, a, you know, Dropbox today is not just a sort of Silicon Valley kind of thing. It's you know, all over the world, like 175 sure. countries are, you know, most of our users outside the U.S. and people from all walks of life. And, and how much? How many files? How, how much do you store in terms of like petabytes? <laughs> a lot. Uh, is it petabytes? So definitely, yeah, yeah. double-digit petabytes. Uh -huh. um, you know, we so, we saw our, our Dropbox users save a billion files every three days. You know, in the time we've been talking, Dropbox users have stored literally millions of files. Right. Um, and so, you know, already that's and for context, that's more than their tweets on Twitter. 